guys. So, long time, incredibly no see. Um, I have been doing life things and I will probably film a video updating you all on that. Well, not really you all because you're probably wondering who the hell I am and why I'm in your in, uh, subscriber inbox, um, if you're even still subscribed. Um, this is kind of now turned into a video diary thing for my personal benefit, I guess. Um, it's just for me to watch over and look at back again in a few years to see where I was and where I am then. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to do makeup videos and lots of fun tutorials and hauls and all those kind of things. It's, but the life updates and stuff are going to be for my personal record. Um, but YouTube is just a great way to store that without having to take up um, lots of space on my hard drive. So um, this is my everyday glam look, I guess you could say. Um, I obviously don't do this every day, but when I do do my makeup properly, it's generally something looking like this. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a life sort of update thing. I think I already just said that, but that will be coming if anybody's actually interested in that. But again, not really um, trying to get anything out of this other than entertainment for myself and something to do. So, which I'll go more into depth in the life update video. But yeah, this is my first tutorial in probably three or four years. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've just topped out of the shower and I'm going to start off with some um, The Ordinary Matrixel 10% plus HA I don't know, it does anti-aging or something um, and it makes my skin feel really nice So, it's got like a medicine dropper Just going to put two stripes on my fingers and pat that into my skin And I'm following that up with some hyaluronic acid, same deal. And finishing off the skincare with the Origins Drink Up Intensive uh, Overnight Mask. Okay, so for a base today I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation. I'm in the lightest shade which is 150 Buff. And I'm just going to use the Real Technique sponge with that. Alright, next I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm in the lightest colour, which is fair. Next I'm going with the RMCA, RMCA or RCMA, I'll put it down below, um, no colour powder, I have decanted it into this um, powder sifter thing that I already had, um, but had finished up the product because the packaging on the full size product is stupid. Alright, so while my under eyes are setting, so I'm just going to go in with a powder brush. This is the F30 from Sigma and whatever's left in the cap and just set the rest of my face. Okay, and that has been sitting long enough, so I'm just going to grab a little bit more powder and dust it away. Okay, so now I'm done with setting, I'm going to go on and bronze my face before I do my eyes. So I'm going with the bronzer from um, Bourjois Maxi De Delight Bronzer. It's not my favourite, but it's what I've got at the moment. It is quite shimmery, but it doesn't show up on the face too much. And I kick the powder off quite a bit. And um, yeah, just bronzing up. Okay, next I'm going in with the Tardis Pro Palette in the colour Vintage all over my lid. And then I'm going in with a tapered blending brush and the colour Bold and um, putting that in my crease as a transition colour.
Okay, next I'm taking the colour Whimsy, same brush, and keeping it a bit tighter and lower in the crease. And then I'm going to take a blank, fluffy blending brush and just phase it out in my crease. Okay, now I'm taking the colour Ethereal on a flat shader brush and just packing that all over my lid. And going back into the colour Whimsy with the uh, previous blending brush. Okay, and still on a um, E25 blending brush from Sigma, but on a clean one, I'm taking the colour Edgy and putting that right in the outer corners and slightly into the crease, but not overdoing it. Okay, now I'm taking a small pencil brush and mixing the colours Bold and Whimsy and putting that under my lower lash line. Okay, same pencil brush and going into the colour Edgy and just on the outer corner and connecting it up to the outer edge of the crease. And then taking a clean pencil brush and blending that all in. Now I'm taking a precision angled brush from Sigma. It is the P84. It's quite a dense, almost kabuki-like brush. I don't it's probably not in focus, but there it is. And I'm going in with the colour Classic and just hitting my brow bone with that. And then blending that out with a fluffy crease brush. Okay, now I'm going in with the Benefit Goof Proof brow pencil in the shade number three and filling in my brows. And just setting those in place with the Benefit Give Me Brow and again in the shade three. Okay, now onto liner. I'm using the Hyper Sharp Wing from Maybelline. Then going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the original. Alright, on the inner corners I'm using the um, Colourpop Super Shop Cheek Highlight in the colour Spoon. I'm just going to use my finger for that. And to top that off, because why not? I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle, again with my finger. Okay, so I think my camera cut out, so I put on blush with um, the colours Amaretto and Rose Spritz from the Champagne Collection Face Palette from Becca, and I have just contoured using the NYX Powder Blush in Taupe. I'm going to now contour my nose just with the fluffy powder brush, um, blending brush, sorry, and a the same uh, brush for mix. And I'm going to use my brush that I use for bronzing to blend out all the contouring. Okay, and to highlight, I'm going to grab my middle finger and my ring finger and dip it into the um, Super Shock highlight from Colourpop in Spoon once again and just pat that onto my cheekbones. And again, I'm going to top that off with the MAC Soft and Gentle. And finally, for lips, I'm using the NYX Lingerie uh, Liquid Lipstick in the colour Ruffle Trim. And because I'm just a little bit extra, I'm going back in with the ColourPop Highlight Ring Finger. I'm just going to tap that on the center of my bottom lip. Okay, and that is the finished look. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this. Sorry I've been gone for so long. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.